Hi everyone, welcome back. We will continue on the theory of statistical testing of hypothesis. As we show in previous example, we already see that we have we already tested for three type of tests where we show how we want to find or to compute the power function of the test. So again, power function of the test is probability of rejecting H0 when H0 is false. So in this case, rejecting H0 does not prove that H0 is false. It just means that there is not enough evidence to establish H0 with the value of X bar that we obtain. So in general, there are two ways how we can quantify the amount of evidence against the null hypothesis. So first, it depends on our value of alpha, and then it also uh, can depend on the p-value. So actually, the p-value is associated with an observed test statistic, for example, z-test or t-test. It is the probability of getting a value for that statistic as extreme or more extreme than what was actually observed, given that our H0 is true. So normally, the p-value is computed uh, using a we can use simulation approach normally in any statistical software they will provide that uh, the output will give you a p-value to indicate whether you want to reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis okay let's say we define we refer to another example so in this case we have the fx theta which is theta x to the power theta minus one and then we have the value of two theta which is theta equals to one and theta equals to two so our null hypothesis is theta equals to 1 against the alternative is theta equals to 2. So this one is a simple hypothesis. Okay, we use a random sample. Size n is equals to 2. And in this case, the critical region is defined as 3 over 4 less than or equals to x1, x2. So that means we will reject H0 when 3 over 4 is less than or equals to x1, x2. So we want to find the power function of the test. So let's say we write the power function k theta as probability x1, x2 belong to C. So since we have two sample size, your n is equal to 2. So we compute the probability, uh, the PDF. So that's mean we have f x1, x2 theta. So in this case, we will have theta square x1, x2 to the power theta minus 1. So we want to compute that probability x1, x2 is belong to the critical region which is uh, belong to C. Okay, so we would like to find the probability x1, x2 belong to C. So in this case, we will have k theta is equal to probability x1, x2 belong to our critical region, belong to C. So f x1, x2 is just theta x1 to the power theta minus 1, theta x2 to the power theta minus 1. So we simplify, we write down theta square x1, x2, theta minus 1. So since we want to compute probability x1, x2 belong to our critical region, so we have the joint PDF, which is theta square x1, theta minus 1, x2, theta minus 1, so the x2 with respect to the x2 and also with respect to x1. So since the value is 3 over 4, our critical region is 3 over 4 less or equals to x1, x2. Okay. So in this case, it also can be written as x1, x2. We have 3 over 4 less or equals to x1, x2. Okay, the critical region. So that means it's the same thing as 3 over 4 x1 3 over 4 so we have 3 over 4 x1 less or equals to x2 less or equals to x1 so in this first case we want to integrate with respect to x2 so x2 is from 3 over 4 x1 up to 1 okay so if we want to integrate with respect to x1, we just have 3 over 4 up to 1. Since the value of the range of this PDF function is from 0 less than x less than 1. So that's mean we will have 3 over 4 
x1, x2 less than 1. Okay, so we will we will integrate. So we factor out theta square. So we have x1 theta minus 1. So from 3 over 4 up to 1. So while for x2 theta minus 1, we have 3 over 4 x1 up to Okay, so by simplify this one, so that's mean we integrate x2, so we will have 1 over theta, x to the power theta, so substitute 3 over 4 x1 up to 1, and then we will have, so in here we will have 1 over theta minus 1 over theta, 3 over 4 x1 to the power theta. So again, we simplify, okay, so theta square, 1 over theta, 1 minus 3 over 4, x1, 3 over theta, we factor out 1 over theta. So, it left us with, we need to integrate x1 to the power theta minus 1, okay. So, this one, we expand, okay, and then we integrate. So this one we give us integration x1 to the power theta minus 1. We give us 1 over theta x1 to the power theta. So minus 3 over 4 to the power theta. So integrate 1 over x1, it gives us ln x1. So now we substitute 1 and also 3 over 4. So the last answer it gives us 1 minus 3 over 4 to the power theta plus theta 3 over 4 to the power theta ln 3 over 4. Okay. So this is the probability of x1, x2 belong to the critical region. So since our critical region is given as 3 or 4 less than or equals to x1, x2. So it is the same thing as we compute the bivariate. Okay, we compute the probability for bivariate random variable. The same concept that we apply here. Okay, so next we want to compute the power function of the test. So the power function of the test is either when our h0 is true or when our h0 is false. So when h0 is true, the value of theta is equals to 1. When h0 is false, the value of theta is equals to 2. So when we substitute theta equals to 1, it gives us 1 minus 3 over 4 plus 3 over 4 long 3 over 4. So 1 over 4 plus 3 over 4 long 3 over 4. Okay. When we have h naught is 4, so this one will give us theta equals to 2. So, we substitute again, we will have 7 over 16 plus 9 over 8, long 3 over 4. So, this is the power function of the test. Okay, let's say we have x, a constant distribution with mean theta. So, we have the simple hypothesis, theta equals to half, against the alternative is theta less than half. So let's say we have a random sample of size 12 where we have x1, x2 up to s12. We only reject the null hypothesis if and only if the observed value of y, which is y is equals to x1, x2 plus x12, is less than 2. Or we can write down y is equals to summation as i less or equals to 2. So, if k theta is the power function of the test, we want to find the power of k half, k1 over 3, k1 over 4, k1 over 6, and also k1 over 3. So, now we will find the power function of the test, where we have the rejection region is summation as i less than or equals to 2. Okay, we will reject each node. When we have the critical region is summation xi less or equals to 2. So in this case, we have probability y less than or equals to 2 is the probability of rejecting h naught. Okay, so since y is equal to summation xi, so each value of x has a Poisson distribution with mean theta. So y will be distributed as Poisson if parameter is n theta. So, since n is equal to 12, 
So that means we will have y constant distributed as 12 theta. So that means if we write the probability function, we will have exponential negative 12 theta. 12 theta to go y over y factorial. So we have theta equals to half, then y is Poisson distributed as 12 theta. So in this case, we have 12 theta is equal to half. So that's mean y is Poisson with parameter 6. Okay. So we want to find k half. So probability y less or equal to 2. So using lambda is equal to 6. From the step table for Poisson cumulative probability distribution, we will find 0 0.06 to 0 0.06 to 0. Okay, next for theta equals to 1 over 3, we will have y. Poisson distributed, so 12 theta, so that means parameter is 4. So using our steps table, we find probability y less than equals to 2, with parameter lambda is equals to 4. So this one will give us a value of 0 0.2381. Okay, so we proceed with theta equals to 1 over 4. So in this case, we have probability y less than equals to 2, theta equals to 1 over 4. So this one is y, Poisson, lambda equals to 3. So from the steps table, it gives us 0 0.4232. So the same process we repeat for theta equals to 1 over 6 so probability 1 less equal to 2 theta equals to 1 over 6 so this one will give us Poisson lambda 2 so from the stats table we give us 0 0.6767 so the next the last one we will have Poisson parameter lambda equals to 1 when theta is equal to 1 over 12. So compute the probability y less than equal to 2. So it gives us 0 0.9197. So if we sketch the graph of k theta, so that means we will have here is our k theta. So the smallest value of theta is 1 over 12. And then we have 1 over 6. So the larger value is theta equals to 1 half. So k theta when theta equals to 1 over 12, the value is 0 0.9197. Okay, around here. And then we have the next one. Theta equals to 1 over 6. So theta equals to 1 over 6, it gives us 0 0.67. Okay, and then Theta equals to 1 over 4, so it is 0 0.4232, okay, so the graph is, okay, so as theta increases, we have theta equals to half, the power of the test is reducing. Okay, next, the last one, we need, we want to find the significant level of the test. So in this case, the significant level of the test is defined as alpha, which is probability of rejecting H0 when H0 is true. So we have alpha is probability rejecting H0 when H0 is true. So in this case, when theta is equal to half, the probability is given as 0 0.0620. So this is the value of alpha, which is the significant level of the test. So that's ended our example.